Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at Apple and Facebook on the daily, weekly, monthly time frames using technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, it's free, or click down here in the bottom right-hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Traders, if you're looking for a new broker, check out CobraTrading.com slash promo slash StockBookie. Best in the business, been using these guys for years. Check them out. CobraTrading.com, you will not be disappointed. All right, let's get right to the daily chart on Apple. Today we had a pretty good day. It was 1.95% up or $3.30 green. We're right into the 618 retrace and this red breakdown bar right around the 172.58 area. So we're going to see if this thing continues up. It's still slightly in a bearish manner here, but it's back above the 20, the 50, and the uh, 200 MA on the daily to 200 way down here right at 153.73 so let's keep an eye on that but we're back into the 618 I'm thinking we're gonna go to the 173.86 and then possibly the 175 area in here and we're gonna see how it reacts with this trend line and this overhead resistance up here around the 174.97 175 area so right now had a great day volume was okay I'd, I'd expect a little bit more on a nice push up like this but the spy was quiet the overall market was a little bit mellow so stocks like this you know are bound to move up on buy the dip mentality or someone needed higher prices going into options X so watch that so right now guys bullish stance a little bit bearish with this pattern here but back above the MA so it's it's doing okay so if you're long this one just just trail the stop let's see if we could get above this area this high and then of course the all-time high which is a 176.24 we get above that then we're looking at you know we'll look at the even numbers 177 178 179 180 and so on and so forth if the markets continue higher the spies accused the IWM this will continue higher but again back into the 618 retrace 750 coming up and then the trend line and we'll see how it does there we'll see if it gaps up actually and let's see if this thing can continue going up if this thing comes right back and comes right back down beware this could be a weak stock going down for the 20 or the 50 ma and filling these gaps down here so keep an eye on that but right now not bad just a little bit of shaking and baking here up down up down little options action the gap fills holding strong down here right around 168 um, and some change and let's see if this holds if we get back below 166.60 down here this low pivot we still have support here but we'll keep an eye on that for apple you know it's apple people will buy the dip down here had a great day on uh on uh, today we'll see if it continues throughout the week and again it is options x so we'll keep an eye on that let's look at the weekly let's see what the weekly close look like yeah, weekly close, still above the MA, still in the great um, bullish pattern here. We moved up, we're going sideways, one, two, three, four, five, six days, or six weeks sideways. So this is actually setting up for a possible breakout. If this pattern fails, we will be going down fast and furious. So you got to keep an eye on that as well. But right now, Apple is okay. If you're bullish on Apple, just stick with the trade. And let's see if this thing can move higher into the trend line in the double top and see how it acts with that. All right, let's get into Facebook. Facebook, same thing. Um, this thing was only four cents up. It was a little bit green on the day. Um, still above. We're gonna well, let's go to the daily. So daily chart uh, volume was volume was weak on this one. To be honest with you, we had a nice three day push up and then uh, stall out into this breakdown bar here. This is where a lot of uh, people got caught in here and it sold off. Went down, caught the double bottom, filled the gap, bounced right back up. I mean, this this was a great play right here, guys. I mean, three days up with options, that was a great trade. So we stalled out here right where this breakdown, because everyone who was buying in here, guys, they got back into this area, and they were like, you know what, I'm done. I'm not going to take this chance, because as soon as they bought it, they put it down in their face for five days and then ricocheted it right back up. Now we're a little bit weak. We are still back above the 20, the 50, and the 200 MA, so it's a strong stance. Let's see if we continue sideways, building a base above the MAs. Then this one could be possibly uh, setting up for higher prices or attacking the all-time high at 184.25. Again, just like Apple, if the markets are weak, this will come in just like Apple. If the markets stay light volume and green and continue going on with this rally, then this should grind up to higher prices. We'll have to see what happens. You know, it's just kind of shaking and baking. This one, uh, you know, this little sell-off here was pretty good. But like I said, we filled the gap and right back up. That's pretty much a routine in these stocks, guys. Right when it dips, buy the dip. 
fills the gap, boom, three days back up, they get it back above the MAs. Everyone, oh, we're strong again, we're above all the MAs, this is great. Let's see what kind of a pattern it gives us in the next week or so and see if this thing can hold the 20 and the 50. If it gets back below the 20 and the 50 and does not get above the... Let's go 182 area and close and possibly get, well, I'm going to say gap fill here. If it can't get above this gap fill and continue higher and get, you know, recapture the all-time high, then we'll see what this thing's going to be setting up as. It needs a good push or a good gap up and a go to get above this and go for the 185, 190, 195, and possibly 200. If this skips here and gets back below these MAs, then we're looking for this support here around the 169. Then you'll also have support at gap fill around the 165. 444 and then this lower pivot here around 160 148 as well as the 200 ma at the 160 21 area so watch for that and again volume was light on the daily so we're going to have to watch that and see if that uh, holds on into the um in through the week because it is options x like i said so uh this is the real shark week guys i mean we have a nice base here above the ma's on the weekly let's see if this can continue higher but look at the monthly guys i mean th these charts are just just ridiculous up up and away this is fed stimulus guys all the way till the end and then they really push it up here i mean it's facebook facebook leads everyone follows keeps the cues up everything's strong everything's great again uh with uh tech so just watch out for that and the fed meeting on wednesday options x anything can happen in these markets guys just stay buoyant and again um you know just hold on these positions we're still up here, you know, nice nice retrace back up onto the uh, big red bar in this area. So let's see if we could get above that or see if we base going sideways. So, all right, guys, thanks again for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully I'm helping some of you traders out there with these uh, charts. These are a little bit uh, crazy up in here, get a little bit of profit taking, stuff like that. But just be aware, tighten those stops if you're long, and don't make a great trade into a turd. So, again, thanks for following me. Thanks for... Uh, coming by, stopping, uh, watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. God bless. See you on the charts.